Hello fellow coders, my name is Pavel and I'm going to do a C++ exercise uh, where we will write a program that asks the user to enter two names and store them in a string object. Uh, it should then report whether they are the same or not, ignoring case. In other words, whether they uppercase, lowercase, doesn't matter if they're the same, you know, well, then they are the same. And to help accomplish its task, uh, it should use two functions in addition to main. And the functions are uh, one that returns string, it's an uppercase, uh, uppercase it, and it will return string, it will return the name all in uppercase, and the boolean uh, function called same string, which uh, accepts name one and name two, or string one, string two, and it will determine whether it they are the same or not, and return true or false. Now, the uh, same string function, uh, which receives those uh, two strings to be compared, we'll need to call the uppercase it for each of the, of the strings before testing if they are the same. In other words, we will pass uh, one string at a time to the uppercase it and then compare them. And the uppercase it function should use a loop so that it can call the to upper function for every character in the string. Uh, that it receives. In other words, it will loop through each character or inside the, each word and convert it to uppercase. Okay, so that's the, uh, that's the assignment. So first thing we will need is the library. We will need to include library of strings. Like that, that's simple. And we will need two functions, they say. So uh, let's do the prototypes. One will return string, and they want, it, want, it, want it, us to call it uh, uppercase it. And it ex expects uh, a string, I'll call it S. And the other one returns boolean and call it uh, same string. And But this one accepts uh, two arguments, string S1 for the name one, and string S2 for the name two. Now in our main method, we will declare variable uh, string name one and string name two. All right, so now we will simply ask the user to enter the names, uh, enter the, enter two names and I will tell you if they are the same uh, new line and of course it would help if I put this in the quote, quotes like that and over here we will ask for the first name so we'll see out enter first name and uh, and again I forget the quotes so now we have the uh, user is going to enter the first name and we are going to store it in our object or variable uh, name one and we'll do the same for uh, name two enter second name and store it in name two so now we have both names and now we can pass them into the function now the, let's create those functions so the first one uh, is the boolean same string which accepts uh, Two arguments string string one and string two and the second one returns string and they will call it uh, uppercase it and it ex expects an argument uh, string just string s now let's do the uppercase it function first uh, we will hold or we will store the result after everything is uh, converted to uppercase we will call we will hold it in a string called uh, converted and uh, they want us to use the loop so so we can convert everything to or do you use the to upper method so uh, for and uh, short i equals zero i is less than name uh, I'm sorry, and then string that uh, length and uh, 
we will have to increase i with each iteration. So we will loop through the whole word or each character of the word. This, this is the length of the word. And now we will add that character after we uh, to the converted, to the string converted, and we will change that character before we add it to uppercase. So our converted plus equals, in other words, we will be adding to it with each iteration. We will use the to upper and we are passing the string or the character of that string for i because we will go one character at a time. So in other words, first we will pass the character in the position of zero. So if I, in my, uh, you know, I type my name Pavel, so the first one will be P then the next one will be A, then V and then O and then L. Uh, that's the length of the word and then we're done with the loop and now simply we will return the word already uh, all in uppercase and that's all there is to the uppercase it function we, we have the variable we will loop through the name that we pass into the function or the string that we pass into the function and we will go character by character change it change every character to uppercase add it to our converted and at the end we will return the whole word already converted to uppercase. Now if you go to the same string function uh, we're going to call that from our main method so we will simply do same string and we will pass name 1 that the user entered and name 2 that the user entered. So that's what the function expects two strings and it gets it. So now we, we and from this function we are calling this function to make sure uh, that we converted uh, each of those names before we compare them. Now we could do it uh, something like this, we could do s1 equals uh, upper case it and pass s1 to it. So at the end, if I, again if I uh, send a Powell to it, then it will return Powell all in uppercase and store it in s1. We will do the same for s2. Uh, and then we would simply say if s1 equals to s2 you know return truth uh, because they are the same else return false that's one way to do it uh, the way I'm going to do it is a little different uh, because we can uh, since this function has a return of string we can use it in an if statement directly so if you use something like if uppercase it in other words, we will call the uh, function from inside the if statement and we will pass the s1 or the name 1. Now the method I'm going to use is compare, which compares, uh, which is a method for strings to compare to strings. I'll use uppercase it again, uh, uppercase it, at uh, this time I pass s2. And if the result of this comparison is 0, then they are the same. So I will return true. Otherwise, I will return false. Again, this is a, a call to the function and we are passing the string 1. The function converts everything to uppercase and returns that word all in uppercase. So now we have an uppercase word and we are comparing it to, here we go again, we ca call the same function, but this with, with the string, uh, with the second string it returns the word, so now we have one word compared to the other words, or one string compared to the other string. And if the result is zero, we will return true. We could do an else statement and return false, but we don't have to because once this is returning true, it never comes to, ret uh, to this part of the function, it never returns false. Only one return uh, can be executed. And of course, if this is not equal zero, means that they are not the same, then it will skip this. And simply return false. So now we can do come over here to our main method and do something similar. We can do an if statement because this returns true or false. We can simply uh, call the function with our uh, strings and uh, check what it returns. If it returns true that means that the names are the same. So we can do C out the names are the same and I'll do a new line. 
else if it returns false we know that it's uh, they're not the same so the names are not the same so again we are calling the function from if statement the function returns true or false depending whether those strings are the same if it returns true then they are the same if it returns false they are not the same so uh, you know what let me uh, let me run it let me build it and see if uh, there's any errors and don't mind that meowing that's just my my cat came to annoy me a little all right so uh, oh shut up here's my name and here will be some uppercase some lowercase letters and we should it should say the names are the same and it does the names are the same if I run it again and do something like one all in uppercase one all in lowercase they are the same if I run it and use like different names let's say uh, Pavel one two three oops and the other one Pavel one two three four or just one two four they are not the same anymore they, the names are not the same but uh, as you can see the uppercase or lowercase doesn't matter because we are comparing them both converted after they being converted to uppercase so if I go pa wall like that and this one will be the opposite it still should say that they are the same which they they are okay so I hope this was helpful maybe even showed you a few tricks with this uh, you know uh, the if statements remember you, if a function returns a value doesn't matter whether it's string or integer or boolean it's something you can compare it to then you can use it in if statement in our, if it's not you cannot use it with a void function because that doesn't return anything but if I have something that is returned I have a one call to it function with one argument and a second call to this same function with a second argument I can compare it I can compare the, re the returns from both of these functions and evaluate them like we did over here uh, whether they are equal to zero or not or whether they are the same or not the same over here I evaluate the result or the return of uh, the same string function whether it is true so I simply call the function with the arguments in it in our statement and if it returns true then I can uh, proceed and uh, execute uh, you know uh, our C out in this case uh, whether the names are the same or otherwise they are not the same all right so uh, here's the code and uh, i hope this was helpful and i'll see you next time take care